make a good swift cast. And I like keeping my rod tip, keep it down to the water. Uh, the, the, the tip start, starts bending back to the lure and you want your line and, and, the, and the rod and everything maybe at about a 45 degree angle. And then when you get the hook, you get the bite. Now you can do the same thing with a Carolina rig. You don't want to be coming straight up because you don't move enough line to catch up with the fish. So when you get that bite, if you do a sweep set, you're pulling a lot more line, okay? If you're fishing a lot of open water and Carolina rigs and crankbaits, uh, rip baits, um, things you, where you need to move a lot of line, you're a lot better off by doing a, a sweep set and your hookups and your fish catching percentages will go up. So the bait, you're, you're reeling it just fast enough to get this bait to wobble. And that's, that's what you want it doing, but picture it all the way down underneath the water. Okay, and as you're reeling it, and, it's, and then you want to stop it, and then it'll stop and float back up. Reel, stop, it'll float back up. Reel, stop, and it'll float back up. Reel, stop, and let it float. And this is if there's a fish following this bait, it'll, you know, they're getting really close to it, and that, that thing stops and starts to float up. They'll think it's done something different and trying to get away or whatever, and then they'll, they'll hit it. They'll usually hit it on a pause when you're doing that. So what we got here is some typical bass cover. We've got some brush out here, we've got some floating wood, we've got a little ditch coming through the, uh, the cut, we've got a rock with a little overhang uh, out here on it, and, and then we've got a little pocket that kind of forms up in between them. So you, what you really want to do as you pull into a spot like this for, for bass is you, is you start with the first place that, that you, you expect the fish to be fish, uh, hanging out. Uh, today's very sunny, not a whole lot of wind. They're going to be hanging in the shade. Uh, if you see uh, a shade line, that the wind, if it's on one side or the other, you know, fish the shade line first. But because we, this is almost straight up today, uh, we really don't have a lot of shade from the brush. We're going to we're going to fish this rock and this overhang. So you're going to take your worm, and this is just a little flip or a pitch cast. You're going to flip fish it up past it. And let your bait sit for just a second, bring it up, and you, and you want to work it. You don't want to work the, the rod a whole lot. You just want to move that worm just a little bit and make it jump just a couple of inches. You just want to let it jump and let that worm sit. And then you just bring it up, bring it up, and, and work it past. Now, when you're fishing a worm or this kind of stuff, your hook set on this type of uh, fishing technique you want to, you get that bite, you want to reel down, point your rod right at your line, and you want to bring it up very hard, straight up towards you. Because you want to pull that fish up, and, and, the, and the rod's right here, you're going to move a lot of line this way, and you want to bring that fish towards you, and up and, up and away from all this cover. So again, we're just going to flip it up to the tree. We're going to let it set there for a second. Maybe if we spook the fish, let it sit there and let him get turned around. He'll come back, check it out, and then just swim it up and just let it work. Pay attention to your line. You got to slack on your line. If you just try and feel the weight and just moving it just enough until you can feel it bumping into things, you can feel it bumping into a rock right there, some more brush, crawl it over a tree limb and, and just move it and keep it working. Let it set for a little bit and just bring it back. And again, when you get the bite, reel down and then bring it up. You go from about a four or five o'clock position with a rod tip all the way up to a 12. If you've got a lot of heavy line and heavy brush, you want to bring it up even farther. You just put everything into it, get your line and your rod and everything right behind you over your shoulder.